Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Okay, uh, the date for today is uh, February 12, 2024. My topic for uh, this morning will be a random topic. This will now be an additional topic on my subject matter, uh, Integral Calculus. So this falls under a random topic and the title will be Integral Calculus and the subtopic will be the so-called uh, integration by using partial fraction. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, this is a random topic which is an addition to, my, to the contents of my channel under the subject matter Integral Calculus. Okay, I, I got here a problem guys. So for those of you who are trying to familiarize yourself uh, on the so-called integration process by using partial fraction, this is for you guys, okay. Uh, we got the problem. Evaluate the integral of dx over the product of the binomial x plus 1 times x plus 3 and this should be equal to what will be the value. We are asked to evaluate. Okay, let's try to bring up the solution. Uh, I will rewrite the given uh, integral, the integral of dx over the quantity x plus 1 over x plus 3, and this should be equal to the integral of a, a constant A, capital letter A, over x plus 1, the first one, multiplied by dx. Plus the integral of uh, another constant capital letter B over uh, x plus 3, the second uh, binomial, multiplied by dx. <coughs> On the right hand side, for us to evaluate the integral, we must have to compute for A and we must have to compute for B. And to compute for the value of A and B, we must have to use our knowledge of the so-called evaluation of partial fraction. Okay? So before proceeding with the so-called integration, let's try to compute for the value of A and for the value of B. So I will now be writing 1 over the quantity x plus 1 times x plus 3. Uh, this is actually originally with the integral, but for the meantime, we are not integrating. We are evaluating partial fraction, so we remove the integral. Okay, then we'll try to evaluate. Evaluate meaning we will try to compute for A and we'll try to compute for B. Okay. The left hand side as it is. For the right hand side, uh, we shall try to combine. Uh, there are two fractions, right? That's why our type, the title of our topic tonight is uh, by using partial fraction. And to simplify this one, uh, we are adding two fractions with different denominators. So the resulting numerator will be the product of A times X plus 3 plus the product B times X plus 1 all over the common denominator. The common denominator will be the product. x plus 1 times x plus 3. If you try to notice it, after simplifying the right-hand side or combining the right-hand side into one single fraction, <coughs> uh, we can cancel now this x plus 1 here and x plus 1 and this x plus 3 here and x plus 3. Why? Because the operation here is multiplication, right? So it seems uh, this is gone, no more, this is no more. So what will just come out will just be simply 1 equal to A times the quantity binomial x plus 3 plus constant B times the binomial x plus 1. Okay. <coughs> I will be presenting uh, the simple solution on how to bring out the value of A and B. If it is just only linear, this is the simple solution. Okay, for as long as the uh, <coughs> binomial on the right hand side is just linear, 
they are not quadratic, this should be the simplest solution. Uh, we will assume the value of x equal to negative 1. Why we, we will assume the value of x equal to negative 1? Because if we try to place the value of x equal to negative 1 here, this will become negative 1. And a negative 1 plus 1 will be, this will become 0. Okay? A 0 times b. So overall, this will be 0. Meaning to say, when x equal to negative 1, we could eliminate b and make it compute for a. Or that's the reason why... Uh, by inspection, we assume the value of x equal to negative 1 to eliminate b and to compute for a. So when x is equal to negative 1, 1 now will be equal to a. Where product is a minus 1 plus 3 plus capital letter b multiplied by. When x equal to negative 1, this will be negative 1 plus 1. Okay? Like what I said, this will become 0. We could now compute for a. So a now will be one half because a minus one plus three will be two and a should be equal to one half. Okay. Uh, the second assumption of, for the value of x, when x is equal to negative three, uh, there is there is also a reason why we assume value x equal to negative three because if we try to go back here, if x is equal to negative three, this should be negative three plus three. Uh, this will be 0 and a 0 times a will be 0 so th this total value here will be 0 and we could compute for b so when x equal to negative 3 1 should be equal to a times a negative 3 plus 3 we put x to be negative 3 plus a value b times a negative 3 that is when x equal to negative 3 plus 1 and this will now be equal to 0. So if this is 0, we could compute for b now. And b now will be equal to negative 1 half. Why negative 1 half? Because uh, the sum of this is actually negative 2. So b will be 1 over negative 2 or just simply negative 1 half. So going back to the original integration problem. Am I still in Canada? The integral of dx over the product x plus 1 over x times x plus 3 should be equal to the integral. We are following this. <coughs> what is the value of a? The computed value of a is 1 half. So this is 1 half. We are following this. Over x plus 1 multiplied with ax plus the integral of the value of b. The computed value of b will be negative 1 half over x plus 3 multiplied by the x. So this is now just a, an easy integration process. An easy one already. It falls under the integral of dx over x. Okay, oh, I do over u, and this should be equal to the natural logarithmic u plus c. So for both of these, uh, the value of u here is x plus one, and du will be dx. So it is exact. It falls under this. The value of u here is x plus three, and du will be a dx. Okay, still the same as this. So it, it still falls under this. So this is now one half. We bring out one, the natural logarithm of x plus one minus one half. This is now minus this because a plus and a minus will be minus. The natural logarithm of x plus three. Uh, this is an indefinite integral. We add a plus c, and if we try to simplify further, we can simplify further. There is there is common factor one half. We bring it out. One half common factor open bracket natural logarithm of x plus one minus natural logarithm of x plus three close bracket plus c and again uh, we could simplify this one here the natural logarithm of u over b is actually the natural logarithm of u minus the natural logarithm of b we are under this so we could simplify this one to be under this so this now falls to be one half Instead of writing this expanded form, it will just be simply 1 under natural logarithm sign times the quantity x plus 1. This x plus 3 should be underneath x plus 3 plus quantity plus c. That will be our answer. Okay, uh, that's it. That's, that's the way how to solve uh, an integral involving partial fraction.
Oh, this just falls under linear, right? Linear factors. So, as long as the given uh, denominator falls under uh, linear factors, this should be the proper solution. Okay, uh, for those of you who would like to subscribe to my channel or would like to watch my uh, videos on my channel, my channel is at youtube.com slash at profdbjdelosuiz. If you want to share it, please click share. Good morning from Los Angeles.